I received a question tonight from Christine, and the question was, Media, how do you take an address that's been split into separate columns in Excel and put that address back together? Well, when she first asked the question, I immediately responded, you would want to concatenate. Let's take a look at the example. This is very similar to the data that Christine is dealing with. So what we have is just a database with a lot of addressing information. We have first name, last name, but then this is the portion that's giving her a problem. The number for the address, for the street address, has been put into one column. Then the actual street address is in a separate column. And then the apartment is in a third column. Now, some people have apartments and some people don't have apartments as part of their street address. So she was saying to me, Media, how do you get this into one column? Well, of course, concatenate is the way that you can do this in Excel. Yet after further investigation, it turns out that this is really not an Excel question. This is a word question. The reason that Christine is working with this is because she wants to do a mail merge. And the mail merge is to generate a list of uh, mailing labels. And she's got over 2,300 mailing labels to generate. And she doesn't want to sit and type anything. So the minute she said this, I said, OK. This is a word question, and you know what? We're going to make this a super easy process. What we have to do is set up a template for the labels that captures the fact that these three elements of one portion, which normally would just be a street address, need to be put together in the um, template. So what we're going to do is just step away from Excel, and we will move into Word, and we'll see the solution to this. Okay, Christine, I've moved into Word, and now I'm ready to go ahead and show you the process for creating your labels in Word. The first thing to do is to click on the Mailings tab, and that will reveal the ribbon. Um, on the ribbon, you have a Create Group, you have a Start Mail Merge Group, Write and Insert Fields Group, Preview Results Group, and then finally Finish. When it comes to doing Mail Merge, the thing I want you to remember is just simply think, move from left to right. Now, first of all, in the create group it does have an option that says labels however you don't want to use this because that will not let you link your labels to your data source and that of course is what you want to do so we'll bypass create and we'll start with start mail merge group the first button says start the mail merge click and then you choose labels this brings up a window that shows you all of your label options and you'll notice label vendors, and we see Avery. Now, Avery is pretty much a standard. Either people purchase Avery labels, and if they do purchase labels from a different company, even the other companies, they'll put an Avery number. It always makes me laugh, though, because people seem to have their favorites. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and selected my personal label favorite, which is 5161. A 5161 label is an inch high, four inches across. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And then the computer sets up Word so that it actually has the structure of your label. So it's two across, and then as you scroll down, it's basically a table that will align with the labels when you put it in your printer. Okay, so we took care of step one, we moved to the right. Now, the next thing to do is to click on Select Recipients. And because you have your data in an Excel spreadsheet already, you can choose, I'm going to use an existing list. Now you'll want to go ahead and navigate to the place where you've saved the file, and there is our customer's Excel file. Now, in the customer's Excel file, I did have three sheets, so it's saying, okay, which sheet is it on? It's on the first sheet. I click OK. And that's all you have to do to actually link what you have in Excel to what you're getting ready to create in Word. Now we click on Edit Recipient List. Word will actually go into your data source, which of course in this case was the customer's Excel file, and it will show you all of the entries that you have. Now, I was just using a simple example with only four choices. Of course, in your example, you said you'd have 2,300, so you'd see all 2,300 names listed here. Now, look at some of the things you can do. You can actually check and uncheck particular names to include them or not include them. 
You also have options to sort, to perform a filter. You can even have Word go through and double check for any duplicates so you can remove those. You can say, I want to find specific recipients and then even validate the, the, uh, validate the addresses. So we're going to use all of our four choices and we'll click OK. Now, again, continuing that idea of just moving from left to right, we finished up the start mail merge group. So now we want to go ahead and work with write and insert fields. Now, address block and greeting line are usually going to be used if you're doing a letter. You're doing a mail merge to labels. So what we want to do is say insert merge fields. Now, if you look at this, we have the options for first name, last name, number, street, apartment, city, state, and zip. Well, let's take a look at our original Excel, and we see first name, last name, number, street, apartment, city, state, and zip. So this is just reading it straight from the Excel file. Okay, we're ready to put it together. Now, instead of you typing out Joe Jones, enter 12345 Main Street, enter Boston comma, space, Massachusetts, space, space, one, two, three, four, five. We're not going to have to retype that whole list one by one. Instead, we're going to replace that with these merge fields. And here's how it works. The first thing we wanted to have was the first name. Click insert first, or insert merge field, click on first name, and there you go. Now I'm going to turn off this preview so you can see what the merge fields look like. So we see a first name. We type in a space. We put in the last name. We press enter, and then this was the solution to your initial question. Number, space, street, space, and apartment. Hit enter, and then we'll put in our city, comma, space, state, space, space, and finally zip. So this is the pattern for your labels, and you can press preview results just to check them out. And yeah, that looks pretty good. That's what we'd like to see. Now I'm going to turn off preview results, and let's just real quickly take a look at something that's very important. You're only seeing those merge fields in the very first label. Now all of the other labels have a feed that says next record, but what we, what we definitely have to do is to take these and get them into all of the other ones. So all you simply have to do is click update labels and that copies these merge fields into every single label on that sheet. Now when you hit preview results now, you'll see all four of our labels, which it's reading from the Excel file. Again, moving from left to right, finish and merge is your last choice. So if you want to send this straight to the printer, go ahead and send it straight to the printer. If you choose to edit the individual documents, it will take what we're seeing here and say, save it as its own Word file, which you can then do further edits to if you want. Um, but that's the solution to your problem. So hopes that hope that helps you out, Christine, and thanks for asking the question.